by George, we got company. Someone invited us to a musical theater. Yeah, it's someone who wrote the major general for us. Yeah, let's check him out. Good day, Charles. My name is Gilbert, and I am his partner, Sullivan. How will you invite us to the musical theater to play the major general? Yeah, the major general of the 1870s and 1880s. Attention, cats and gentle mice, lend me your ears. It is my distinguished pleasure to invite all of you to share our triumph. Today on 1880s, we vote the Major General and the Cat Life Tread. I will, with these golden scissors, hereby cut the red. Ribbon. It's Loud Kiddington and his dog, Fetch. If you're tired of all grown, talk too loud. Better hurry here today and beat the crowd. When the lava starts to blow, forget that volcano. Talk too loud, talk too loud, talk too loud. How do Roman citizens? Loud Kiddington here. And if I can't make you a deal, my dog, Fetch, will eat a metal muffin. Yes, sir. You too can enjoy vacation living at its finest in the Roman Empire's favorite resort, Pompeii! Okay, Jobs, it's become necessary to assemble the cat by trad. In it! After Loud meets Gilbert and Sullivan, we're off to see Moscow Lennon, Treaty of Paris, and the Horse Guards Parade. Okay, Mona, smile. I'm a happy girl. Come along, everybody. Time for my friend of the Lennon speech. Let's march together now. Here we go. Never mind, stand tall. During the 1917, the Communist Kingdom, led by the Tsar Nicholas II of the Russia, has taken over the Moscow. Yes! Oh, I hate this! Let's move along, people. We're moving, we're moving, and sinking to our left is that general who was named after the monument. Moscow will have temperatures below zero from now till next May. So wear your mittens. I've got to cut down on those cupcakes. Well, you've been in the hospital. It was in Greenland, so we turned around and sailed back across the water. But in 1917, the Tsar's rule came to an end, and a new communist government was established in Russia. Lenin, eager to return home and take over as Russia's new leader, caught the first train to Petrograd. You can lead a horse to water, but it's tough getting those swim fins on his hoofs. At the same time, moving pictures were starting to make a major impact around the globe. When we got to Greenland, we told Leif Erikson the news about North America. No one is above the law. Not even the president. Uh, duh. Everybody is singing. To the workers and the peasants, they lead the way to a Russia where they be food every day. 1917, the revolution began. The star came in and threw up his hands as Lenin removed the crown from his head. He said, Ooh, this will buy a lot of peace, Lenin bread. Yay, peace! 